Hello everyone, Dave here. I'm on tour in my hotel room at the moment and I'd like to announce that I've made my first VST plugin. It's not going to set the world on fire. I did show it at the end of my last video, but because it was at the end, some people would have missed it. So I've cut that out, turned it into its own video. You can go to GitHub and get the code for it and compile it yourself. The link is in the description. So if you didn't see it first time around, this is me showing my first ever VST plugin. Thank you very much. The other night I was bored, as, as you are sometimes, I was sitting in the front room. I took my laptop from here into the front room and I sat down with a YouTube video on the telly and I thought, you know what I've never done? I've never written a VST plugin. I'm gonna see whether I can do it. Now I've also not really done anything serious in C++, which is what you've gotta to learn to do this. So I thought, I'm gonna sit down for an evening and teach myself how to write a plugin. And I thought this would be the perfect thing to do. So I could do it with one plugin without sends and all the other stuff. I actually managed in an evening to write a successful VST plugin, which I'm actually quite pleased with. I need to bug test it and make it more robust. I will um, upload it probably to GitHub and give it away for free. You can have a mess around with it. But yeah, it's quite exciting because I'm thinking, well, I could write some interesting plugins that people could give me suggestions and I could write some interesting plugins because that's the side of audio engineering that, that I really like is actually the engineering is like writing the plugins or building something physically to work in the analog world because that's that's what I consider real engineering so I'm 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 trying to do a bit of that at the moment um I wouldn't say I'm brilliant at it yet but I'm trying my best So in example one here, I've got an acoustic guitar. So I am sending this via the sends to uh, a channel called Delay Example One, which is this group here. And on this, I've got a mono delay, 15 millisecond delay with no feedback at all. So it just does one repeat. Uh, it's a 100% wet mix and I've got a high pass filter set at 176.4, so call it 175 hertz. And it's just below 9K, that's where the low pass filter is. So this particular delay is just delaying the whole signal by 15 milliseconds and basically doing a low and a high pass. And then after that, I've got the Waves S1 Imager plugin. Uh, you could use many plugins for this. I'll just use this because it's easy and a lot of people have wave subscriptions and I do so I just grab this one out and basically all I've done is just flip the right hand side's polarity so I've just turned the wave upside down of the uh, of the right hand channel so we've got a 15 millisecond delay signal which is out of phase left to right now what happens when two things are out of phase with each other and then you sum them together in mono they cancel out because when you've got a one on one side, you've got a minus one on the other, you add them together and one and minus one equals zero. If it's 0 0.8 minus 0 0.8, sum them together, it's going to be zero. So this delayed signal will completely cancel in mono to absolutely nothing. I'm gonna play the mono signal and then I'm gonna unmute this, uh, this stereo effect channel and you'll hear that it makes the sound sound beautiful and stereo. If you haven't got headphones on or you're not listening in front of nice stereo speakers, I suggest you whack some headphones on for this like I've done, but uh, let's play through and then I'm gonna unmute the effects. So as you can hear, it instantly makes it sound wide and it doesn't really clash with the mono guitar part. We've pushed it back a bit with the delay and then we've put those two sides out of phase to give the width. But here it is, here's the uh, RS2, which is the name of my studio. So this is the RS2 mono to stereo, looks very rudimentary at the moment, as you can see, 
it's the same thing as the first example. It's a 15 millisecond delay. I've got the wet around minus nine. I've got the dry at zero. I've got a high pass and a low pass sitting in there and you've got the polarity for the left and the right there. So this plugin basically does what I did in example one. And uh, let's have a listen, see if it sounds the same. And it works, doesn't it? It works, I've written a plugin. Yay! Look, and I even made it resizable. Oh, that took ages. <laughs> but I made it resizable. After messing around, you, you would have heard there. As I'm changing the delay time while it's playing, you're hearing this kind of chorusy sound going on. I thought, that's cool. Wouldn't it be nice to add in a low frequency oscillator to, uh, modulate the delay time. So that's exactly what I did, which should still cancel because that's all happening in mono before the polarity phase, so uh, the polarity flip. So that should still cancel exactly the same as it would on the other examples. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of rate, a little bit of depth in and we'll... Some to mono. All cancels. Doesn't look the best yet, but it does work. I've started uh, experimenting with upping the, the UI game, but at least it's in the right blue. <laughs> to match my channel but yeah that's uh, that's my first ever VST plugin and and I know it's not exactly setting the world on fire and it can probably be done by a million other plugins in a million different ways but I needed something to write just to learn how to do it and that was my first attempt and for a first attempt I don't think that's too bad I've got to say two things in that caveats is number one although I haven't written VST plugins I've written plenty of code that's dealt with audio I've written EQs I've written compressors I've written even the code on some of my videos that I'm doing where I'm doing a mix and I've got the two microphones up I've written things which detects which uh, microphone is the loudest and will automatically crossfade between the two so I'm not sitting there having to manually pick the two. A lot of those tools I write using the formula plugin where you can effectively open the plugin it gives you a, a text editor where you can write C code. Um, I've featured that uh, before on this channel I wrote a modulating EQ which cancels down to uh, cancels down to mono perfectly I suppose a precursor to this video. So yeah I have dealt with audio signals in code before and although I've never programmed in C++ I have programmed in C I know JavaScript inside out I know C sharp I started off <laughs> BBC basic and visual basic and other stuff like I know programming well enough so it wasn't like I was coming out of nowhere with it and the second thing is chat GPT github copilot they are your friends when you know what you want to do but you don't know how to do it in that language so there were bits that i'd either write in c or even write in javascript the logic that i wanted and it would write the c plus plus for me or edit my code to make it c plus <laughs> plus compatible so you know i'm not proclaiming to be a, a, a genius or anything being able to just never code in c plus plus and then in an evening i've knocked up a plugin but i'm still even with the ai help I'm still very pleased with what I did. So, um, yeah, I hope this video has brought you some joy. That's what I'm here for. 
just to bring you some joy, hopefully. If you like this video, please like it, please subscribe, please leave me a comment and share the video. I remembered all of them. See you in another video. Cheers.